Hey everyone, so I've had these Reef Breeder lights for about two months now and I figured it was time to do a review. Uh, I don't really like doing open box reviews because it's, uh, well, I mean, at that point you don't have any experience with the product and you haven't really put the product to any real testing. So after about two months I figured it'd be a good time to do like uh, a first review and maybe in uh, at the one year mark I'll do another one uh, so what I have on my system is I have four of these 24 inch photon v2s alright um, I got them on Black Friday they arrived early in the week just after that and uh, you know they were very easy to get set up um, when, when you get them, they come with a remote, a hanging kit, and, like, a, a mounting kit, like a leg kit for, like, uh, attaching to the rim of your tank and having them, uh, sit over your tank that way. Uh, so, what I did was I didn't use either of their mounting equipment, uh, just because I already had this, uh, extruded aluminum, this T-slot stuff from 8020, and, uh, I wanted to mount the lights onto this and so I did some digging and I found uh, some little standoffs that allowed me to attach the lights onto it um, so I do like that they include a hanging kit and a stand for your lights uh, with every with every fixture that way who knows maybe you want to sell it to somebody else and their their style of hanging a light is different than yours then you know you have all that equipment to pass along with them um uh so yeah uh i i have a video on how i did the uh attaching the reef breeders to the t-slot aluminum uh i posted it on a few different forums uh showing how i did it and then uh reef breeders actually reached out to me and said hey you know we we sell longer screws for our fixtures uh we'll send you some if uh if you want them and uh, I said yes, but I never really got into giving them my address and everything, so I haven't I haven't tried that yet. I'm curious to see what what they have for these longer uh, screws so that this can be done. But they said that they'd pass them out for free. Um, so, you know, if if you're going this route, then uh, maybe you could reach out to them before, like while you're making the purchase. Um, and I don't know I like what I did. It wasn't too expensive, and it left them very sturdy. Um, very firmly attached, um, and yet I can still slide them left or right, um, with, you know, very easily. So, um, let's see here. So yeah, uh, the cords, one thing I've had trouble with on this tank, because it's such a weird build, we have a, uh, sorry, I gotta get around here. Um, so, we have like about two and a half feet of space behind the tank, and of course all the cords we have either running along the floor or like in cases with our lights they run up over a shop light and then down into the cord cabinet and then back up to the to the outlets um, so these cords are plenty long uh, I do not have an exact measurement I think they said it was like 12 feet or something like that I could be wrong um, either way the cord is plenty long to go from the fixture up over the shop light down into the cabinet where the power supply is and then from the power supply the cord runs back up to the outlet so they're quite long so they're definitely ideal for uh, tanks of all sizes and setups of all configurations uh, like I said many of the appliances that I've put on this build I've had to cut the cord and lengthen them uh, that wasn't the case with the reef breeders uh, so yeah, one thing I really like about the reef readers is the way the remote talks to the fixture. So I have the remote here and this remote, so it's got like a little LCD display and you can like change, I'm not going to change the setting because I don't want the settings on my light to move around, but yeah, you can, uh, you can just use it here. And it, all the programming is entered into the remote, and it talks to every single light fixture all at the same time. So I only put the program in once. I only make a change once, and all four lights will follow along with it. Uh, I find that great. 
that saves a lot of time over the way a lot of fixtures work where you have like an onboard display and every you either have to find a way to do a master slave setup or you've got to enter it on every you know you're making one small change you've got to enter it four times then um not the case here um so i really like that uh i think that was a a cool way to go about it um and I guess the other thing, since we're talking about the programming of the lights and uh, making changes to it, is uh, I like that every uh, color of diode is on its own channel. So you have six channels here to, to work with because there are six uh, six spectrum of diodes, or I shouldn't say spectrum, six, uh, six color diodes on here. Um, they have uh, a channel for red, a channel for green, a channel for royal blue, a channel for light blue, a channel for violet, and a channel for white. And uh, that allows some really cool customize, uh, customizability on this. Um, the uh, You really get to control your spectrum down to a T. Um, and if you want some information on how I go about programming my spectrum or customizing my spectrum... I have a video to that, and I'll post that uh, as well at the end of this video. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so, I mean, every channel is controlled individually. Uh, I think the amount of each diode that they have is uh, rather rather appropriate. I, uh, you know, I run, I run these four fixtures at a max of 43%, um, and that's plenty of light. I may increase it a little bit later, but I didn't want to shock my corals. So over the past, uh, you know, couple months, I, I've got these lights up to where they were. Now, before we had these lights on this tank, we had two Reef Breeder Photons. They're, they're old, old version one photons. Um, and we, uh, we've had the, we had those, I think it was like, close to five years we had those and yeah at the end they started having some problems but i mean it's an electronic device that you hang over your aquarium and five years later you know like one channel will flicker it on and off randomly um i think that's uh i think that's kind of expected with all of them i don't really see uh many five-year-old fixtures running uh you know in in top shape um so yeah, when when it came time when we put this build in, we always knew we were gonna need more lights. We knew that the two that we had from our last build wasn't gonna be enough, uh, but we were just kind of using them for the time being so that we could start with a couple corals and just at least have the tank running and lit. And we always knew that this was gonna be a progression here that we were slowly gonna add more and more equipment so that we could do more and more with the tank. And yeah, so we finally got to that point where it was uh, Black Friday was coming up and we knew that we wanted to get some new lights and we did some uh, we did some digging around and uh, in the end, uh, once again, Reef Breeders, you know, uh, was our choice. It was it was uh, affordable and it got us the power and the customizability that we really wanted uh, on our reef tank. So um we you know we bought them they arrived earlier that next week it was and it's been working out great uh overall i think for four, these four 24 inch fixtures i paid about like 1300 dollars. and now that was a black friday uh sale and stuff so there was a little bit extra taken off and um but yeah i mean it, it was hundreds of dollars cheaper than anything else that was gonna that could possibly light this tank uh this i don't know if i mentioned it this tank is 72 inches long by 30 inches wide um so not the easiest dimensions to light because a lot of fixtures kind of max out around 20 24 inches um and you know, I wish we could have gotten the 16-inch versions because they're pretty darn close. You know, there's only three inches of leeway on each side of the lights, and I think there's a three-inch rim of glass going around the entire tank. So, like, I feel like a lot of light just kind of hits that and gets lost and doesn't end up actually illuminating the tank, uh, where I think a 16-inch version might have been better. But, uh, but yeah, uh 24 is fine uh you get a few extra leds in there you know so 
uh, and it was only like 20 bucks more. So, um, you know, it, everything's been working out good. So if you guys have any questions about these lights, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, again, I've only had these new ones for two months. However, I've been using Reef Breeder LEDs for uh, several years now. So maybe I can help out. Uh, if not, you know, Logan from Reef Breeders, he's always been pretty helpful with me in the past. Uh, you know, reaching out to me. Sometimes he just reads my comments on the forums and then gets in contact with me to uh, to talk about whatever. So, so yeah, this is... Uh, uh, these lights have been great. Uh, enjoying them. The corals have been doing great. Uh, you know, we we definitely always enjoyed the mis mixed reef. So, you know, we got... Uh, <clears throat> A Monty, some encrusting SPSS. Uh, sorry, SPS. <laughs> Been working on the computer too much. Um, uh, let's see here. There's a Digi back there. Um, here's our torch coral. We got zoanthids kind of all over the place. I think there, yeah, there's another colony back there. And of course, you know, I accidentally broke off some pieces of my coral, so got those. There's a little green lepto back there. This was a Jason Fox Lepto, uh, the jack-o'-lantern one, I think it was called. And it looks a little browned out now, and that's because it is. It, we had a, it got a little browned out when we started having some problems with our old lights. But if you notice the rim or the skirt around this one where all the new growth is, the color is much brighter. Um, so I think it's just that the existing tissue is taking a little longer to... Uh, brighten up whereas the the new growth is coming out pretty pretty vibrant um, Yeah, you know, I think that's a uh, spongeodes there and Yeah, some more zoanthids over here uh, Some sunny D's so Yeah, things have been working out great um, Check out the links that are going to be posted here um, at the end of this video and other than that, you know, let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching.